your Capital Media family as you relax on this super Sunday we bring to you the top five positive news stories for this week. We had to turn it out in Tobago where police officers in Port of Spain were busy giving away vegetable and fruit trees to residents for them to use their time productively and even show an interest in agriculture. Over 3,000 plants were donated to drivers and passers by on Frederick Street on Saturday, October 9th. Coming in spot number four as we sought out the good in the news this week is the United Kingdom's Birmingham. This is the second largest city in the United Kingdom, which is set to become a supersized, slow traffic neighborhood. The Birmingham City Council have announced plans for the city to become a low traffic neighborhood. The plans aim to encourage active travel and for people to use cleaner modes of transport. City officials hope that closing roads to motor traffic and introducing a fleet of zero emission cross city buses will create a cleaner, more livable city. In spot number three is Jamaica, Jamaica. The United Kingdom has lifted the travel advisory against non-essential travel to that Caribbean country. The tourism minister in Jamaica, Edmund Bartlett, says that the UK market is crucial and so they're eagerly awaiting welcoming visitors from the United Kingdom once again. In spot number two is Malaysia, who managed to fully vaccinate 90% of its adult population and is now reopening for interstate and international travel come tomorrow, Monday, October 11th. And now we head to spot number one, where this week we head to Africa, where the watchword is vaccine, and this time it's not about COVID for once, but a malaria vaccine. The World Health Organization has given the green light for the malaria vaccine called RTSS to be rolled out in Africa. The long-awaited malaria vaccine for children is a breakthrough for science, child health, and malaria control. Well, that's it, Capital Media family, for your news with a positive spin. Do have an amazing week.